Hey guys, this is Deshang Gaming YouTube channel and so we are going to compare the new Qualcomm processor the Snapdragon 775G versus the SD855 Plus, the new mid-range processor versus the old flagship processor. So let's get started. Now there was never trust. Don't you say a word cause I've heard it all. You were just pain when you felt it all. Please note that all of the said information are not 100% correct and accurate as the as these processors are still not public yet and the following has been told on the leaks and rumors but these are the performance that we can expect. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 775G is a chipset that will be manufactured either in a 6 or 7 nanometer process as the official details are not yet out. The graphics used in the 775G is not officially declared yet. The Snapdragon 855 Plus is a 7 nanometer chipset that comprises of 4 Cairo 485 silver a high frequency cores operating at 1.8 GHz along with three high performance Cairo 485 Gold operating at 2.42 GHz and another high performance Cairo 485 Gold operating at 2.84 GHz. Its highest clock speed is up to 2.96 GHz and the Snapdragon 855 integrates with the Adreno 640 GPU operating at 600 MHz. So now let's talk about the performance of the Snapdragon 775G first. In its CPU performance it scores 70 in its gaming performance it scores 73 in its battery life it scores 98 and in the overall review it scores 79 so now let's talk about the performance of the Snapdragon 855 plus in the CPU performance it scores 73 in the gaming performance it scores 89 and in the battery life it scores 81 and in the overall review it scores 81 so by seeing the scores we can say that the 855 plus has a better CPU score and also a better gaming score but we can also see that the Snapdragon 775G has a much higher battery efficiency than the Snapdragon 855 Plus and in the overall score they don't differ much. So now let's go talk about the benchmarks of the 775G. In the Geekbench single score it scores 876 points. In the Geekbench 5 multi score it scores 2115 points and in the Antutu benchmark 8 it scores 530,000 points. So now let's talk about the benchmarks of the Snapdragon 855 Plus. In the single score Geekbench 5 it scores 780 points. And in the Geekbench multi score, it scores 2763 points. And in the Antutu benchmark 8, it scores. 470,712 points. So by seeing the Geekbench scores, we can conclude that although the Snapdragon 775G has a higher single score, but the Snapdragon 855 overtakes by 600 points, but on the overall Antutu score, the Snapdragon 775G defeats the Snapdragon 855. So thereby we can conclude that the 775G is the winner, although its multi performance, although its multi score is not that high, but its battery efficiency and overall performance is impressive in the mid-range section of processors. Now please also note that these benchmark scores vary from time to time as the 775G processor is still not out in the market but in the testing. But we can expect the 775G to be the best mid-range processor in the Android as of now. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more updates, subscribe to Eastern Gaming, thank you.